Hi guys, Richard from the Porky Family here again. Now today's video is kind of a news roundup. I'm thinking about um, doing these new news roundups semi-regularly, maybe once a week. It depends on the, um, the amount of news that's coming out in Pokemon Go, that's associated with Pokemon Go. But it seems like even though in the Northern Hemisphere, um, the colder months are coming, the events and the happenings are not slowing down. Niantic are continuing to push forward and hopefully get people out, even in the cold. Um, in just a few hours, after you will see this video, another event will be happening. Now let me talk to you guys about that. Right, We've had a vision of psychic type Pokemon in your future. On October the 5th at 1 p.m. PDT, here in the UK that'll be 9 p.m. Um, the Psychic Spectacular will begin with Mewtwo in raids, Psychic type Pokemon such as Abra, Ralts, now Ralts I'm quite excited about. If Ralts is going to be around regularly, lots of, of instances of, of that Pokemon to catch, that guys is something to concentrate on. Collect some candies, Gardevoir is a very strong uh, fairy type Pokemon, not so much on the Psychic type but as far as fairy types is concerned, she's one to get. Um, plus there's also, um, um, oh, what's the male called? Gallade. Gallade. It's a good job Amanda's here to remind me. I don't particularly like Gallade, which is why I, I forget his name, but, you know, it's there, you're going to want to fill your Pokédex, and some people out there sing his praises, say that he's great, so, you know, there's potential there for it to be good. Uh, and Baltoy will be appearing more frequently in the wild until October the 14th at 1pm PDT. Check the details below and then there's some times for you guys to look at. I'll put this information up on the screen so you guys can see it. Features. Psychic type Pokemon will appear in the wild more frequently. Additional field research focusing on psychic type Pokemon will uh, will appear will be available. And shiny Drowsy has a chance to appear. Another shiny release. It seems that Niantic are really motoring forward with the release of shinies. Just off the top of my head, I didn't do any research. I didn't look at any websites or any timelines. Just off the top of my head, in the past, I don't know, maybe a month and a half, there's been, and I wrote them down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shiny releases that I can think of. Been Drowsy, Krabby, Geodude, Grimer, Growlife, Natu, Snubble, Houndour. These are the ones that I can just remember. There might even be more they are pumping these shinies out and they're not increasing the catch rates they're not doing any community day stuff it is just regular shinies one in 450 guys these things are difficult to catch they're difficult to find some of them outside of the events in which they're released grimer houndua for example at least where we live very difficult to find so i think they're making it so the hardcore players can't keep up purposefully so they've always got something to hunt they've always got something to try and find they get excited every time there's a nest migration because it could put a nest a viable nest near them where they can go and hunt for a shiny in my opinion not necessarily a bad thing i have however some reservations it is difficult to keep up it's even difficult to keep up on what is available as a shiny for a casual player um, I, I kind of fit in between the casuals and the hardcore player and a moderate and I can't necessarily keep up on what's available and what I should be shiny checking clicking on my screen so that is a potential problem when you're in a car or you're walking with a fast you're in a rush or whatever you have split second decisions to make on which Pokemon to click and if you've got a shiny chance you should probably be picking that add to your collection and your pokedex it's difficult it's difficult but more things to hunt is basically what pokemon has always been about catching pokemon finding the rare stuff finding all of it to fill your pokedex has always been the aim of the game so the more opportunity that's out there that's good now, the second thing that I want to talk about in this news roundup is Beldum Community Day. 
if you guys are not aware, Beldum Community Day is a really huge event. It is the biggest thing since Tyranitar, uh, uh, well, Larvitar Community Day, and Dratina Community Day. This thing is, uh, if Meteor Mash works as it's predicted to work, will turn Metagross into a rather significant Pokemon. Now, it doesn't counter everything. It's not as, as significant as a dragon, um, but it is up there. It will make the pseudo legendary that is Metagross something that's worth chasing and worth having. So it is very important, guys, that you get out there and pay attention to this community day. There are some community days where the fun is all entangled in just finding the shinies or doing the quests or a crazy Meltan um, preview at the end of it. You know, the, the, the fun's there, but on these ones, this is where it is important for you guys to actually get out there. They've actually done something really cool as, as well this time. Um, they've matched the community day where they're giving Meteor my shout with an actual Meteor shower called the, and I've written this down, and if I say it wrong, I apologize, the Orionid Meteor Shower, which is gonna be most visible on October the 21st and 22nd, which I think is like a really cool thing for them to do. I mean, sure, Community Day is gonna be during the day, and you're not gonna be able to see a Meteor Shower during the day, of course, but the fact that it's matched up and you could see it, that's great, that's great. Um, so, Metagross. Let's talk about Metagross. What it counters um, and what it's going to be used for. It's a steel type Pokemon, steel and psychic. It's not going to make a dent in the psychic category. We've already got Mewtwo and other more suitable psychic types, let's say. It will, however, take forefront in the steel typing. That's what's important. Now, steel types counter ice, fairy, and rock types. There are not loads of legendaries in the future that fall into that category. I'm going to say that straight away. There are not loads, but there are some rather significant ones. Xerneas, for example. There's also an Ice Dragon type in Gen 3. Gen 3? In Gen 5, sorry, that we are looking forward to. So it is going to be there as a counter for some very specific Pokemon, but where it comes into its own where it will shine is as a generalist Pokemon. I've seen predictions that if a Meteor Mash lands as is expected, that it will fly up into the top three generalist category in the game alongside Mewtwo, Rayquaza, and then Metagross. So it's one of those Pokemon that you will be able to use without any thought. You won't have to think about counters. You rock up to a gym, you need to take it down, you're on your way to work, your Metagross will do the job for you. It will do enough damage in enough time to make it quick. And that's where the strength of Metagross is. It will counter some Pokemon. However, its use lies in its generalist nature. It's important, guys. You need to get out there. Not to mention that, as always, it will release the shiny sprite and shiny Metagross is huge in the Pokemon community. People adore that Pokemon. I like it. It changes the body into a light, shiny, a shiny a silver effect and the cross, the big X that's on it from a, a dull, like iron type effort. It's got a bit of a blue to it, I think, to a golden look. It is a big change and it looks fabulous looks fabulous none of that in my opinion with like dratini for example you had pretty cool pink pretty cool pink oh my god green you know i, I didn't appreciate that so much wasn't terrible but this one really pretty and it's something that's definitely worth chasing you need to keep an eye on your chats your discords all the information sources that you have um for people that spot high iv version so you can shiny check it and maybe get a high iv version of a of a shiny for metagross super important guys metagross fits into that category it's easily as important as tyranitar and dragonite as far as community is concerned 
in the top three community days that they have released so far in my opinion without a doubt so make sure that you get out there catch those beldums evolve those matangs and metagross get that meteor mash on your pokemon you will use it guaranteed that's the end of the video guys i'll see you in the next video